Well, it's Friday. We told you we'll be back. Yes, we did. Top, Top of the morning, morning to you, everybody. And uh, you already know the drill. It's about time for you to wake up and get the weekend started already. Now, you know, right here on Wake Up Nigeria, we like to give you a memorable weekend starter. Yeah, and we'll come correct. You know how we do it. Uh, it's a short work week, relative, mm. relatively uh, just four short. days. Yeah. And uh, we're eager for the weekend. Honestly, I, I don't think I've been more eager to get the weekend started. It's been a long one for me. Uh, but we have a packed show, and you need to stay right there. Sit tight with us and enjoy the ride. Yeah, of course, before that, just to remind you that we are streaming live right now on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook. You can look us up on TVC Connect. Now, of course, if you want to participate in the show, like you usually do, yeah. thank you. Uh, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria. And, of course, there's going to be some serious baking going on. Chef Omaomi is back. Hey. She's with us in the studio. She's all smiles. Good Hanging morning. out with Mary. You yes, could actually so. be in a toothpaste advert. Yeah, like Chef Omaomi. Yeah, she's so seats. lovely. Good morning. You got a nice smile. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, I Mary. Need, I think I need Hi. to go Good for morning. some cleaning myself. How are you doing? Myself. You look like it's you, just, you, look like you stumbled. You, one, you look like you stumbled out of uh, the Arise Fashion Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's so. the idea. <laughs> we have loads to talk about, though. Um, for people that were part of our Kellogg's Challenge. Yeah, right? of course. Uh, we told you that winners will be having breakfast. And uh, the lucky families will be getting a month's supply of Kellogg's products. And of course, breakfast will be happening live right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And then after that, we'll be having uh, a representative of Kellogg's joining us. Uh, yeah. To talk to us about a few things that's going on. Mr. Dalentin is back as well. Uh, okay, then uh, we'll also be having the brand manager of Hypo Nigeria, Mr. Timothy Aruoshekbe, to talk about their products and what they're up to now. Vocalist and music coach Bengak Bali will be uh, back on the show uh, to talk to us about uh, tips on how to be a better vocalist. I'm going to start with the first exercise called the Vu exercise. Can we try? <sighs> And then on new inventions and new products hitting the market, we have two representatives from Techno Mobile. They'll be joining us to talk about their brand new launched line of phones. So the Battle Marathon powered by uh, Power Oil is happening tomorrow, finally, and our aerobics on our aerobics today. Tony uh, will be uh, prepping us yes. on how to get ready for that long run. Then we have a performance coming your way from Poski. And afterwards, we'll be having a chat with him. You should stick around for that. Uh, I thought of Wally Poo 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 because that's his nickname. Oh, right. Oh, oh, right. That's true. So that's I had true. to like <laughs> open the, 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 the pictures to I check like, oh, it out. Because well, okay. if he sings, let's just say the studio will not be the same again. For those uh, that don't know who Wally Poo 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 is, he's one of the stars on. Um, Max, Max FM. Max FM. Yeah. And we love him. Very I, I get his voice. Is that, is that yeah. deep? We could have voice Man. deep. Our voice is raw. That's The voice is... It's depth. <laughs> it's not deep. It's yeah. depth. It's yeah. deep. He tried to throw it to my little girl. <laughs> <laughs> he said she's the first little girl that was stand up to him. Yeah. The first time he did it, she was quiet. Okay. She was like, scared. Then the next time she went... <laughs> you talk like a normal person. Oh, and he went, no. Yeah. He <laughs> no. She but, thought he was faking it. Yeah. She <laughs> got that from she got that from you. You know obviously. there's some some people that are just given unique gifts. Yeah. yeah. And and as long as they find a way to use that gift to, you know, make a positive impact, mm -hmm. then it just works. Yeah. It's yeah. that is no gift. It's something that tear the voice like that. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear it, you know. It's a gift because it's one of the most listened to. You should check him out radios. on radio in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like um his voice. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to say uh, the, all the papers are reporting different kinds of <coughs> bad news uh, this mm. morning. Mm. Lots of killings. There was a daredevil arm robbery that happened yesterday in, um, in Ot uh, Quara sorry, Offa, in Kwara State. Kwara State, yes. Six policemen were killed. So, I mean, a lot of security issues happening mm. uh, in the country right now. People just need to be careful. Mm. When you're traveling, whatever you're doing, 
um, just keep an eye on on, yeah. uh, on your things and make sure on, things on this you're robbery safe. issue there are, it's actually two sides of a coin on the one hand I I know many people might blame the economy but people are struggling <coughs> take for example someone whose 2000 model car was stolen that person, you don't know what that person put together to buy that car. Mm. Yeah. Because if the person could afford a 2015, 2018 car, yeah. the person would have probably gone for that. Yeah. And then you steal the car from the person. What do you want the person to do? You are no better than the person. Just because that person has a right doesn't mean the person has a better life. There are so many people who live in slums, but still try to feel cool <coughs> with their rights, just yeah. so as to bring in business for themselves. There are actually a lot of different dynamics going on when it comes to economy and... Of course, um, the fact that armed robbery happens in the first place, it calls on security, of course, in the nation. It calls on the mindset mm -hmm. of the people. Mm -hmm. uh, it calls on uh, education, education as yeah. well. So, so different areas need to be tackled before we can really, really get to the bottom of this and make sure it stops happening. Mm -hmm. On the roads, the roads, the roads are bad as well. So making people slow down in certain places to encourage you know, people to take advantage of them. So there are just so many different things uh, working together that uh, are causing these things to happen. So I, I'm, you know thinking, I said two things. I'm thinking, Mary, let's take um, a chill now and then let's go to okay. you. Know, we can maybe, talk more about right it in the next about half. I'm, I'm feeling really sad and emotional about very, it now. Very, very, All very. All right, so let's ginger everybody crazy. back up again, hopefully. Uh, we're <laughs> starting with the Daily Sun this morning and the headline, Controversy Trails $321 million Abacha Loot. We've returned money to Buhari government, uh, Swiss envoy, no, we don't have such information, says federal government. I never asked Nigeria for extra pay, said the foreign lawyer. That's a lot of controversy there. Mm. Uh, Ohaneze roars over Akwerem Madu, uh, demands stoppage of inquisition into deputy senate president's life. Looters list, Wike accuses federal government of disrespect for rule of law. Uh, Ten feared killed, scores injured in Benue. Again, five killed in Taraba. And uh, robbers kill scores in off a bank attack. Uh, police recover arms in Anambra, Sokoto, and Kanu. All on the cover of the Daily Sun. On the cover of The Guardian, it says, Senate decries performance of 1.5 trillion Naira social investment scheme. Queries 800 million Naira NIWA security vote in 2018 budget. Kaduna reps back rejection of El Rufai's loan request. Hmm. Interesting way to start a Friday morning. Uh, it says here, 12 feared killed in attacks on Benue Kaduna communities. Petrol subsidy hits 1.4 trillion Naira, says Kachuku. Uh, pregnant woman protests against anti-maternal policies in Undu. And on the tanker's menace, residents' bridges in grave danger as tankers, trucks def defy Lagos governors, uh, government's military orders to quit. That's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. Uh, the nation leads with the headline, Buhari delays trip to stop Oyegun's extension plot. Uh, president for NEC meeting, uh, chair pins hope on Lalong's report. Uh, petrol import loss hits 1.4 trillion naira. Um, robbers kill four policemen, six others in Quara, uh, four banks raided in Offa. Wow. Uh, Omishore's men, others dump PDP. We're broke, say Ondo lawmakers. Um, Eagles 80% ready for World Cup. And finally, row over $1 billion arms purchase. Um, all on the cover of the nation. The Vanguard says... Uh, <clears throat> on the $1 billion for arms procurement, it says there'll be trouble if Buhari approves $1 billion without NASS. Uh, it it uh, says here, commence action against Buhari now. PDP charges National Assembly. Unlike PDP, our $1 billion Boko Haram fund not meant for 2019 polls, APC say here. Uh, there's some pictures of, on the uh, pregnant women protest in Ondo State. Um, protesting 300% increase in various charges. 300%. Wow. Wow. Um, so, yeah, that goes to the next headline. headline pregnant women block hospital. 300% medical bill increase in Undo. Uh, politicians, not herdsmen. Boko Haram, greatest threat. 
to the security, to security, says Okoje. Uh, then finally, it says proposed APC NEC meeting sparks alleg allegation of forgery. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. Well, that's it on the newspaper headlines for now. We'll be bringing you more newspaper headlines at uh, the top of the hour. Of course. And the headlines are proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. All right. So Mike is with Tony, our fitness instructor in the garden. And we have a special, uh, our special guest from Power Oil also yeah. back with us to talk more about the Power Oil Marathon on Saturday. You just have to have a lot of endurance. <laughs> a lot of endurance. Power oil. Ibadan. Yeah, no issue. Okay, he's already no ready. Issues. I don't I don't need okay, but Tony. Um, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So what are we working out on today? Mike, no strength, no run, no endurance, no run. No cardiovascular system, no run. Then what will happen? We are going to infuse all these things together. Okay, so we're looking at a kind of workouts to get ready for we'll a marathon. Get ready for the marathon. All right, take Have it away. Said power oil. Power oil. Swarm up. Swarm up. What do we do? You come here, gonna be running on the eight. If I don't, if I don't, if I don't, straight, get into the water spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do this. One, two, three. One, 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 one. Hey, Lord, this is happening here. One, one, one. You know, I'm One, hey, he's coming, he's coming. The first one, now move me, first one, now move me. And pause. Let's, let's see. If there's no back, you're not gonna get up. Squeeze for me. Push, 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 push. How are you? I said no stress, go run. Now let's see what will happen. If you are running on the Sunday with us, we are going to do some movement and going to take us. Get us prepared for the game. Come on, let's start the game. One, two, three. What are we doing now? I need Kadivasa. One, come on. Two. I want my cross tie. Three, come on. Kadivasa, give me leg here. Four, come on. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and four. Let's go, let's go. More kind of us can happen. More kind of us can happen. No, we're running in the battle. Am I there? One, two, three, four. One, one, come on. Good, good, come on. I said I need a lot of kind of us can happen. Eat that this morning. Make sure you're breathing in on us. My God, you'll be strong. Come on, come on. Come on. We're not doing bad. We are not doing bad. And four, get back, get me in from. Get me in trouble! Martin Clamour! Oh, we are there. Okay, this way. There. Okay, all right. So while uh, Tony and the rest of the crew are walking out, I've got BC Ashimolo over here, who is the CEO of Splash FM, organizers of uh, the Ibadan City Marathon. All right, good to have you this morning. Thank you for having me. All right, morning. cool. So let's get straight to it. The marathon is on Sunday, the 8th of April. Yes, it is. Okay, and how far have you gone with preparations for the marathon? Well, we're set. Everything's good to go. We kick off at the Obafemalo Stadium in okay. Ibadan. That's formerly the Liberty Stadium Okay. In Ibadan. It starts at 7 a.m. prompt. 7 a.m. on Sunday morning? On Sunday morning. How about those ones who go to church? Well, God <laughs> will not vex for you not to come to church for one day. Okay, you heard it. BC said it. I was the one that said it. Okay, so now how long is the distance uh, that we're going to be running for? Okay, it's a full marathon, 42 kilometers. That's long. It's a long Where's time. the end then? Where's the end point? We kick off at the stadium. In the stadium. And they go around the battle. Okay. And then they come back to the stadium. All right. The stadium. So let's talk about security. What are the plans for security? We don't want runners maybe running and then somebody, you know, stops them. Is there any plan for oh, something exactly. like that? We usually shut down the battle on the day. Oh, okay. We have got the police, we've got the FRSC, we've got um, all the security agencies really okay. in Ibado. All they right. turn up for us on the day and they sort out all the security issues. Security is a confirmed, guaranteed. Okay, yeah. now let's, let's talk about health, first aid and all of that, emergency services. What are the plans? We have six ambulances six. that are on the route. You okay. Know, following so everyone. they'll be following the runners. And also at the stadium, we have ambulances. Okay. Yes, All right. All right. Fortunately, we've never ever had an incident. Okay. Ten years I've been running this. Ten years. Yeah. All right. So let's hope that this will make it eleven. This actually make it the, the tenth. tenth. Yeah. Okay. So this is a uh, ten. Perfect number. So no incidents. We hope so. Cross fingers crossed. Okay. So moving on from that now, let's see. Now we have uh, all is set. Can people still register? For the marathon no registrations are closed now it's closed. so it's really just getting ready coming to the stadium on saturday to get your kit and just final prep really all right how at. many runners are we expecting right now we have close to three thousand three thousand registered 
For the marathon. For the marathon. All right, then one final question. You know, you know people are complaining about East Africans. They come up and they pick all the trophies. They are, are we expecting any people from outside the country? Is, is it just Nigerians or it's yeah. open to everybody? This marathon for this year is for Nigerians. We want Nigerians to go home with a prize money of 3 million I like that. naira. I like that. So for this year, it's only Nigerians. It's only Nigerians. Yeah. All right, so that's very cool. And then the prize money, though, let's talk about the prize. A 3 million naira is the first prize. No, it's one million okay, for the first meal. For the first meal, eight hundred for the first female, wow. and then it graduates down. But the total prize money is three hundred thousand. Uh, three, three, three million. million. <laughs> three million. Three million, please, not three million. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so um, everything is set, everything right? Is set. Any final words? Anything about to the runners and all that? Um, well, Fresh encouragement or something? Yeah, we are. We also have a segment of it called Running for a Cause. Okay. We have chosen five local charities the blind, rehabilitation for kids, you know, charities that we are giving out money to. So we have a segment called Running for a Cause okay. and we call the public to come and run for this charity so that they can win the money for, for the them. charities. Yes. I like that. So we I like that. For a cause. Thank yeah. you very much. You guys are doing a great job and all the best on Sunday. Thank you. Right? Uh, it's Thank going to be a hitch free exercise yeah. and uh, maybe we'll talk about it when we're done. And you know, a last one. Okay. We actually have for all the Thai currency lovers, we've got Thai currency coming mm. um, to sing wow. on the day as well. So there's fun also. Yep. It's going to be entertaining, not yep. just running. We're going to have fun. And Thank you very much. Power oil health check. All right, all right, well. all right. Now there's so much, there's so much. But then it's going to be in Ibadan, of course, on Sunday. Thank you very much, BC, for coming. Thank you Thank for, for educating you. us and enlightening us on what to expect on Sunday. All right, so that's it. on walk out this morning. Tony and the guys are ready for the marathon on Sunday. Let's head over to the kitchen, of course, and let's see what they have for us there this morning. That energy for the Saturday marathon tomorrow. Oh my goodness. I feel like Tony. I just want to run like okay, that looks like boxing. That's okay. right. Yeah. Well, it's kitchen time. Uh you're welcome, of course. Um, wake up Nigeria. And I've got Chef Omon Wumi, the Thank CEO you. of Wumi Cakes, right here with me for some picked goodies. I can't wait to see what you have for us today. So what are we making? See today. my heart? Yes, I want you to like it? twin. You wanted us to do Yes, yes. Nice. <laughs> so what are we making today? So today we're making a French dessert. Okay. And it's called, called um, creme brulee. Okay. It's very easy to make and very, very quick. Mm. You can make it within 15 minutes. And it's very delicious. Very Remember delicious. Remember to Trust me, that one. <laughs> you can serve it as breakfast or dessert, either hot or cold, mm -hmm. depending on what you want and how you want it. Yeah. So our Let's recipe for today is very... Easy. We have our sugar, we have our cocoa powder, we have our custard, we have our butter, we have our eggs, then some toppings. We have um, the waver st waver stick, we have marshmallow. We Just have so a minute. Many uh, you can check your screen right now for the recipe for creme brulee. brulee. Uh, okay. The ingredients are right there, okay? So you can uh, move along with us. Okay. Looks like there's some things that are not there, though. Okay. Let's go on with it. Okay. So the first thing we do is to Work with our milk. Oh, the milk first. Yes. Oh, you didn't mention what these are. We have flavor and color. Oh, color. Oh. See, this will keep. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to work with our milk. Oh my, that was really hot, hot already. Hot, 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 hot. So let's put it aside. Okay. So that's going to boil for how long? A few minutes. So we're going to work with three cups. Okay. Only three cups. Yes, three cups. Now the three cups serve how many people? Up to six. Okay, so each cup for two people. Ah, depending on how much you want to serve them. Okay. If you really want it in a um, large quantity for them or just a bit okay. of portion. Okay. So the next thing we do is add our egg. So we separate the egg. From the yolk? Yes. Okay, the whites from the yolk. Yes. Okay. This always looks like child's play until the first time you try it. Then you so know this is the not. yolk. Okay. So how many eggs are we making? You're working with three. Three eggs for three cups of milk. Yes. Three. Okay. When you say cups of milk, that's the largest in this chain, right? Yes, that's the largest. Okay. That's 250 mils. Yes, Emma. Okay. So this is the second yolk. Okay. And um, the third one. The third one. Okay. So what are we using the eggs for? It's to bring it up. It serves as part of the recipe to make it R delicious. Rising agent. Yes. Okay. So this one doesn't go into this. 
doesn't go into it. You separate Are we going them. to use this at all? Yes, this is what you're going to work with. Oh, you're not making use of that at all? Yes, you're not making use of it. Uh -huh. So, this should be set aside. Can someone please bring bread so we can make bread and egg, you know, toast? So, we'll be needing a um, tablespoon of a tablespoon of custard. custard. Three also, or yes. six? Three. Three. So, does that go back to on the heat? Yes. The milk? Yes. Okay. It will Let go back on back. the heat. But I have to whisk it first. Before it goes back? Yes, so okay. that it can dilute. Okay. Okay. So. Whisk so, it. whisk it, and then we're also going to you whisk it. and be yolk. sure that the, there is no lump. It's very important to whisk the lump away. It has to be super smooth. Yes, super smooth. Okay. So, so what, the next what's thing, the next we thing? We add our sugar. To it. And yes. How many spoons? Three spoons as well. Three tablespoons of yes. sugar. Three tablespoons. What goes in next? The last is the yolk. The yolk. Yes. Okay. Then, then you keep whisking until it comes up. That's until it thickens. Okay. Yes. Okay. So at what point does the cocoa go in? That is going to be for the second flavor. For the second flavor. Yes. Mm. Sounds like quite a lot. You know how you eat some things, you enjoy them. You so. don't know how much work goes into them. Well, it's about time for us to go on races now. We'll be back shortly for the Kellogg's breakfast in the garden. Yes, congratulations to all the families who are part of this. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. All right, it's still Wake Up Nigeria. And as promised, it's Friday and time for us to have our Kellogg's Easter challenge breakfast and the family is already here bright and early and they're already eating and uh, in fact I'm salivating already really I can see you're having fun hello good morning hi what's your name hmm? oh are you fair I'm very very pleased to meet you you're welcome madam you're welcome hi give me five hey you made it for the breakfast bright and early hope you didn't get into traffic when you were coming you didn't are you sure Hope you're enjoying your breakfast. Hey, young man. All right, so as you can see, our families are all here. They're already having breakfast. Hi, I can see you are, you are fighting to get that. Uh, you're just stirring it with energy right there. All right, thank you so much, mommy, for coming around. Thank you for making it. Thank you so much for making it. All right, so uh, the families are here, and I know there's probably a few families still on the way because it is quite early. Uh, but we're expecting all 10 families to be right here. And of course, they'll be having breakfast with Kellogg's this morning. We did promise to give them a month's supply of Kellogg's to take home with them. So I know they are coming. Don't worry. If it was me, I'll be here on time too. It's about time for us to speak with our friends from Kellogg's. And someone who's like a regular <laughs> on our show now, Mr. Oh. Darlington is here. And so is Kemi. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. All right, so the Kellogg's Easter Challenge, what was, what was the whole idea? Who brought it together, in fact? Um, mm? Actually, we, we thought of, you know, Kellogg's is all about breakfast, it's all about family. So we yeah. thought of it that we could just drop a challenge for families to see how their orientation, what they know about Kellogg's and the new Kellogg's range of products in Nigeria. Okay. Okay. So we brought the idea together so that we we'll engage families and mm. have them feel, we bring them on air to tell the goodness of breakfast. All right Kellogg's. then. And uh, the song, this song, the Kellogg's song, <laughs> I'm probably thinking in your office, you sing this song all the time, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so whose idea was it to get them to sing and record a video of the song? The research team. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, has it been a lot of fun watching all these videos for you yes, guys? Yes, it's been a lot of fun. And um, we've been doing school sampling and mm. the children are actually singing the school sampling song. Oh. We have one for um, TV commercial and mm. we have the other one for school sampling so it was fun hearing the children sing the yeah. school sampling jingle okay. it, was, it was really fun all right so i'm thinking you know we've been talking about kellogg's for quite a while over the past i think month or so yeah. um so what has the response been like well the response has been tremendous we've been getting to a response even the sales figure is going high on a daily basis and it's mm -hmm. been fun family are beginning to accept the fact couple of the challenges we had at the beginning but now it's a big big thing kellogg's right. is big it has come to stay mm -hmm. and on a daily basis meeting up with so meeting up with demand says it's becoming an issue for us but we yeah. know now that we are capable and we are meeting up with every demand all right so um i'm thinking 
that um, you know it's a long journey a lot of people uh, were not into cereal as a breakfast before so have people started really moving on to cereal like the plan was initially yes yes they have because we've had a um, series of research um, mm. we do neighborhood sampling yeah. we do school sampling we do market activations mm. just to get people to know more about the product that kellogg's is here to stay in nigeria it's for nigerians yeah and it's here to stay all right. And also one Fantastic. good thing is that we, because we put it in a smaller satchel, the 40 grams, which is, available, which is affordable and available, yeah. families are keen into it. It's, a, it's an easy go for families. Breakfast mm -hmm. time, careless time. It's not, you don't need to make a rush. You don't need to make it so hard. Just get a pack of 15 hours satchel and milk and you are good to go for breakfast. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. All right then. So before we go, um, I know that there are other um, types of cereal that you produce, but the two key uh, cereals that we have here today is cornflakes and, and Cocoa, Cocoa Pops. Pops. Yeah. Uh, why was it that you focused on those two? Uh, because we, from research and our statistics, we feel cornflakes and Cocoa Pops is easily acceptable. Okay. All are acceptable, but yeah. the demand for cornflakes and Cocoa Pops is higher, especially with the kids. If you oh. look at our Cocoa Pops now, kids even snack on it. The oh. we need to poop, you see, you go on the street, you see them picking it, chewing it, and okay. it's been a great deal all the while. All right then, I have to say thank you, You're thank welcome. you, thank you to thank Darlington you and Kemi for showing up once again. Thank you very much. And I have a feeling that everybody knows that line now. Breakfast time is... Chaos time! Fantastic. I'm going to be going back into the studio and Yummy is right there. All right, thanks so much, uh, TT. It looks exciting what you guys are doing there. Uh, well, I have uh, Timothy Aruoshegbe from Hypo to talk to us about their product. Now, he is the brand manager for Hypo Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, sir. Good morning. Looking uh, all nice and shiny. Thank you. Thank <laughs> all right, you. so um, there's a couple of things that uh, are going on right now that uh, you know Hypo is involved in. Can you just tell us about some of them? Yes, um, um, there's this initiative we started in 2014. We call it Team Up to Clean Up, whereby we go to a dirty environment then we educate the people in that vicinity, then they join us together to clean. Yes. So, April 7, which is tomorrow, tomorrow yes. is World Health Day. So this time around, we are taking it to Ifeludun in Bariga, Lagos here, to join the community to clean the area. However, and then the special attraction is Fetia Williams. She'll be there as well, live mm. with us to, you know, to join us in the clean exercise. Yeah. So excellent. I mean, so so this is taking place at the local government, uh, or the Bariga. LCDA uh, yes, headquarters. In yes, in Bariga. Ifeludun. Ifeludun, Bariga. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what time does it start? It starts 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay. And then um, a lot of people are joining. We have a lot of participants who are showing interest, so coming on board to join us doing it. However, we are also using that same medium to also showcase how IPO can be used in different ways. It's not about white and white only, how they can use it for their drainages and the environment. Wow. However, you know, in, like I said yesterday in the our dailies, there was this um, cholera in some parts of Nigeria. We tell people IPO also can serve as disinfectant, yeah. not only as a white now. So mm. people could see. The more you use this, then the more you are free of germs. So it's not really just about uh, whitening your, making your whites brighter. Yeah, yeah. It's also about um, the health implications and yes. sanitation yes. And, and things like that. Yes. Okay. So uh, what else should people expect when they when they come? Yes. Um, a lot of goodies after the exercise. A lot of fun. Mm. But of course, since Fatia Williams will be there, and then she's PIA, then other things follow. Of know? course, you can yeah. take pictures with her, get to meet her. <laughs> and so and then, as soon as she's done with that, then. A cleaning exercise will take place. Then they see, I mean, the CDA chairman too will be there. People from Ministry of Environment, people from Ministry of Health will be there as well. So you see, joining things together, you know, it's not because we do tell people, IPO is not a cleaning organization, but because hygiene is part of our core values. Yes. So what we are also telling people that for the father, you must be conscious of hygiene, and then you must have that culture of hygiene. You know, it's two different things. Yes. You might be conscious of something, you may not have the culture. So tomorrow we are telling you, okay, be conscious of this, also have that culture, you know, because after this, we have a feedback team, mm. you know, to go back, check, to see what we've done, are they maintaining the standard? Then we can know what to do after that. Yeah, I like how you mentioned the, the culture of hygiene, yes. uh, which is, uh, tell us about why Hypo chose specifically World Health Day, you know, to also promote uh, this. Yes, um, we realized that uh, at this present point in time, this is Lagos, and a lot of th uh, things have happened on the issue of I mean, cleanliness there and there. Of course, since we started this, then also to commemorate with that same day, April 7, we realized that it makes more sense 
through that same day. So that people know that, okay, they must imbibe. It must be in them, then they must flow through that. Right. Yeah. This, is, this is really great. I mean, yeah. so, um, so people should come tomorrow, the Ifelodun uh, local government. Uh, yeah, Ifelodun community yeah. at Barriga. So right. we invite, we encourage, we appeal that they should come at a mass and join us. Today, so rally will be going cleaning on. cleaning and then go to be exercising. Yes, well. yes. So to, today, rally is going on to create awareness for tomorrow. Okay, at, the, at that same at location. location so. Okay, so Alone we're also calling on the, yeah. everyone yeah, in that location to come by and uh, there'll be goodies to give away oh, and know, different things like that. People won't, you know, trust me, uh, if you don't do that, you know, people <laughs> feel that. So after this, it's like, what next? Of course, yeah, apart from uh, giving out different items, there will be fun, food, things like that. Yeah. So, so I, and I also like that, you know, you said hygiene is one of your core values, yes. you know, as, as, a, as a brand, which is one of the things yes. that we should also be promoting with yes. the children. So is there anything for the children? I mean, well, if the children come out, do they get to learn anything as well? Yes, uh, it's part of it because the truth is, um, we said over time that um, if you use IPO, not only as a whitener for your floors, for your ties, we tell parents also use that to also clean their toys. By the time you use IPO for your floors, it makes it safer for them to crawl. Our children cross on the floor. And they, sometimes they pick food from the floor, the floor when you're not. So watching. we tell, yeah. So the message is this: if you do this over time, you visit hospital less. Hmm. To spend less on this, so if uh, and then this product is avoidable and it's also accessible. Yeah. So and it's pretty cheap. Very. Yeah. So, uh, so, you so you it's, it's avoidable, not yeah, cheap. It's, well, it's avoidable. Affordable. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so yes. we tell them, and also it's accessible mm. for people to get because I remember um, before we launched, uh, the category of bleach in Nigeria is just two percent. Mm. So we came in 2011. Then we've grown the category to 37 percent now. Amazing. To make it amazing. avoidable for low-income HANA. So hygiene is not about rich people. Yes. It's avoidable for each and everyone. And I think one of the things that Hypo also did was to help people understand that it's not just about, like you said, about washing clothes. Yes. You know, and then you took it more to a lifestyle thing, yes. where it's part of you know your daily yeah. lives yes. and you know yes. cleaning up and things like that. Over times, I've seen people, uh, maybe on the bus, on the street. Uh, after the either at the end of the day, the true uh, what's it called the bottle water, the line of the wrapper. So these are the culture we have to stop. We are telling them mm. tomorrow a lot of sensitization will be going on. We talk to them about that. Then why are you doing this? You block your drainages, a lot of things that so they know, you know, the two things that when people don't know they you can't blame them. And the when there is no rule, when there is no law, there's no, you know. So this we tell them, stop this. If you do this, this will be the effect. If you do this, this will be the outcome. So these are the things we try to tell them tomorrow. Right. Thank you so much for, for joining Thank us this you. morning. So it's tomorrow at uh, 7, 7 a.m. at uh, Ifeludun uh, local government, uh, the uh, LCDA headquarters. And there's yes. going to be a lot happening. So make sure that you join Hypo uh, to clean, keep your environment clean. It's also World Health Day as well. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this morning. Thank you. Sir. All right. So stay with us. We'll be back in the kitchen after this. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen again, right here on Wake Up Nigeria. A lot has been going on, I tell you, a whole lot. As you can see, we have this ready. That's the, the creme brulee is shaping up quite nicely. Uh, this is just plain. And this so has uh, the coloring. This is the strawberry flavor and the vanilla flavor. So right now we're making the chocolate flavor. Okay. So it's going to be three layers, then we have our desserts. Ah, okay. Now, this cake is called Jelnis. It's a French cake as well. Okay. So we'll be complimenting. It's going to be a French dessert. Okay. Uh, so three layers of this. As you can see, this is vanilla, strawberry. Vanilla and the chocolate. And we also have... Strawberry. Strawberry. The fruit itself, also for topping. And of course, we have wafers, marshmallows, um, chocolates, and um, chocolate, chocolate sticks as well. So... So we're almost done in a minute. We're just okay. waiting for the custard to thicken up. Okay. So once it thickens up, we... You, you've put in the egg yolk, right? Yes, okay. we've done that. Fantastic. So the only difference between this and this is that there is cocoa powder in it. So that is what gives it the chocolate flavor, understand? The then you can process. actually add chocolate itself into it. That means you have to melt it over hot water, then you add it to it. Okay. So it depends on how you yeah, really want to prepare really it. it. Okay, so you have to put this before you can start this. Yes. Okay. So in the next few minutes, we should be done with this, then we come to this. Okay. If you're just uh, tuning in, what we're making today is creme brulee. And it's actually a French dessert. As she said, you can always have it for breakfast. It depends on how you want it. 
and uh, cold or hot. Cold or hot. Mm -hmm. It's like we're having ours cold and hot because this one is complimentary. Cold, right? This is going. To, this is cold, and why this is hot? On your screen right now is uh, today's uh, menu. The ingredients are also there: creme brulee, uh, ingredients custard, egg, egg yolk, uh, milk, sugar, color, cocoa powder and fruits uh, we have strawberry and we didn't even bring out the pineapple we also have pineapple it'll be part of the toppings okay so there so we the go. chocolate is coming up it's coming up quite nicely this process of uh, whisking takes up to five minutes yes up to I five know minutes from the first one it takes up to five minutes then you have to keep whisking to avoid lump yeah because if you get if you leave it it's going to okay you can see it now let's not take that risk <laughs> So you just have to keep whisking and whisking. Okay, the mm -hmm. camera is on it. Okay. So this is how it's, you can see it's beginning to thicken up. Okay. So you just have to keep whisking and whisking and whisking. Now, you remember that we separated the egg whites from the egg yolk. I actually thought that we we're going to just, um, you know, whisk the egg separately. No, everything went inside. Just the yolk alone. Yeah, the yolk, uh, we took out uh, the egg white, the egg but everything, whites. as in, we didn't whisk the egg yolk separately. No, we didn't you whisk it. You poured it inside Yes, directly. and the whole whisking comes up on the fire. Okay. So it's red right now, it's very thick. It's very thick. Yes. So we're putting it in here as well. Yes. Okay. So I'll, Let me get I'll that. Spot. So what other things can we make use of? for the creme brulee? What other things can we use it for? So many things, so many things. Depends on what you actually want. You can actually work with um, wafers, biscuits, you know, nuggets, so, even with ice cream. Funny I thing think you is should that, put this yourself. Okay. So that the I interesting don't... thing about creme brulee is that you can use it to frost a cake, or you can That's use it thing. as a um, filling. I always knew it to be even just as, a dessert. Um, tart. Mm -hmm. I've seen so many people use it as peeling for tarts. Oh, okay. we have to clean this. So many people use it for peeling for tarts. So you can actually use it for filling as well. So it depends on what you actually want. Okay. This looks really exciting. What me are more interested in is how you're going to layer the cake. That's what is interesting to me. Okay. When you were putting this in a cup, I was thinking it was just going to be taken from the cup, and I was wondering, okay, I, I don't know. Definitely, it's going one. to be taken from the cup. So, so. while it's still hot, uh -huh. you top it. You have to be careful. Okay. Can you please so. put off the gas? Okay, sure. Because we are done with now, that. Now, um, this, how we arrived at this, was that. We, could you quickly take us through that process of how we arrived at this? Okay. One thing about making a dessert is getting your recipes right. Yeah. For people who are just learning, mm. you can get a paper and write it out. All you need is flour, um, you need your custard, you need your okay. vanilla, okay. Uh, vanilla custard or strawberry custard, depending on what you actually got in the market. Okay. Then you need your sugar. You need your egg yolk. Okay. You separate the eggs white from the yolk. So after you're done with that, you pour your milk on the fire. Yeah. Then add your, is that okay? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, let's put it, we still have okay. more here. Okay. Add your um, custard to it, yeah. whisk, so that you can avoid lump. Once you have lump in it, you won't like it. Because sometimes some lump can be very stubborn. It won't just dilute, dissolve, I mean. I can imagine. This will take a lot of training as it is. So. Well, um, as much as we would like to continue with this, don't worry, you see the end product. Everybody likes the end product. Up next is Ben Gagbele, who will be giving us a vocal training. Uh, hi, Mike. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you very much, Mary. Good morning. And of course, I've got Benga Bile here and you know, it's our usual vocal training. Great to have you, Benga. Oh, thanks. And thanks of course, he's here with Vikel. How are you doing, Vikel? I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what are we doing this morning? Oh, this morning, we want to talk about some vocal, vocal challenges that most singers have. I mean, I'm talking about pitch this morning. Most singers find it difficult to, I mean, to, to pitch I mean, very well. I'm going to give them some exercises that can help you increase your pitch. Okay, so. but well, I'll leave now for you to do. But then first of all, when you go, you, you explain what pitch is and then you show us. All right? Okay, no problem. Okay, so take it away. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay, right now, let's go straight away. 
Let's just start with the vocal warm-up exercises. When you wake up in the morning as a singer, you need to I mean, do warm-up exercise so that you can put your voice alive. So let's start with this exercise. Let's go. Let's go. Go on. Now let's go to the full exercise right now. Like I told us last week that some factors are necessary for your pitch. The first one is to expand your throat while moving up. So like saying ah, ah, naturally your throat expands when you say ah. So oftentimes most singers have voice strain because they allow the throat to go back. So this exercise can help you more. Let's try this exercise again. Ah, 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 ah. Let's go. Three, go. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. the application the voice exercise too can help you strengthen your vocal neck region like i said your neck region needs to be exercised this voice exercise can help you to strengthen the muscles i say Voo. let's go with voo. go so let's see let's see the application as she sings from one key to another let's start with the raise me up uh, with ah uh, 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 let's go go you raise me She has trained her, her vocal muscles and she has learned to expand the throat. Let's see how she applies that in singing now. You know, most of the time, singers haven't challenged with that. She has conquered that. Let's try it. children of the future teach them well and let them lead the way show them all the builders they possess inside give them a sense of pride to make it easier let the children fly after remind us how we get Everybody's searching for a hero People need someone to look up to But never found anyone who fulfilled the needs A lonely place to bleed And so I learned to depend on me Out of sight of long ago Never to walk in anyone's shadow Because of great, great 
somebody should not talk after this kind of thing. I, I don't feel like talking. Okay, so what were we able to achieve this morning? Okay. Well, talking about Peach, Peach, she's been trained for the past uh, some years in our school. It's okay, it's okay. She's got in the... It's have due for years, all right. Someday, someday, you can do it. Yeah. Yes, you can. If you can right. talk, you can sing. All right. That's okay, thank you very much, Binga. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, wonderful, wonderful performance yeah. there. Thanks. All right, so let's... Uh, uh, take a break now. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Don't go anywhere. When we get back, it's the second half of the show. Well, there is time for more fun on Wake Up Nigeria. I'm Yomi Owope. I'm Titi Lai Oyinson. It's great, a feel good Friday edition. And of course, uh, we'd like to give you a little bit of the weekend ahead on the show. Yeah, so the winners of the Kellogg's Easter Challenge mm. uh, will be revealed. Yeah. I like, I like the word revealed, mm. unveiled. And of course, we're going to be presenting their prizes to them right here in our garden. Yeah after they finished eating all their Kellogg's <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> and then we're going to be bringing you uh, a performance from Ade, Ade Bajo, popularly known as Posky. Posky. Yeah. The man. Papa go. Papa go new. Papa go lamba jadil ba Papa go new. Papa go. Papa go wow. I guess yeah. we're still in the Easter mode. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that high life was just entering our body. Uh, have you noticed the uh, off shoulder trend in, in the studio? Yeah. Today? The, the, we talked about it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I just need Titi to wear her shoes properly. That's so, all. So, so, you guys, you yeah. guys. So, so, you can bend for. So, the, the off shoulder trend that you guys are talking about is just a euphemism for shoulder bearing. Yes. Shoulder bearing. Clothes. Uh, the Shoulder lady, bearing behavior. The lady doing the um, doing the, the vocal, voice training. Yeah, voice training. Oh, yeah. He was also wearing an off shoulder. Mm. I'm like, yeah, we, we got good skin. So isn't this risky? Like, what? isn't what? this isn't this risky? Is it fine? Well, if something I'm happens to you. Even gospel know. song. <laughs> you use gospel song to Let's see what the Lord can do. Ah. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> now let's see what the Lord can. She's dancing like I'm, I can I'm, bend. I can bend. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> No, I have is, to use this. Uh, is, no, this is overgasted and flabberwent. <laughs> I mean, uh, you're using even gospel song to the daughters Over of Eve are using gospel me. song to push. <laughs> okay, but, okay. But meanwhile, something happened there. Eh? I cooked yeah. beans on Wednesday. Uh, and these beans I cooked. Uh, normally, I. What are beans? Did you cook to do beans? Did you cook beans literally or you cook beans figuratively? Is there figurative cooking of beans? Yeah, yeah, it's possible, you know, because oh, there's that saying. When you that say I cook beans, it means that I've gotten into trouble. There is, there is figurative. Okay. No, there's the. So I cooked these beans and. The beans are still there at home. Two days now running. It was so much. I didn't I didn't research. I, I didn't know it would be that much. Because I put potatoes inside. Well, beans doesn't swell now. Uh, it's very small. Though. It's very small. Though. Beans swells now. So, okay, but actually what happens is that when I bought the beans, I now put the potatoes inside. And for the last... You put potatoes in? Yeah, sweet potatoes. So, like, yeah. So now for the last days... <laughs> it was wrong with potato and beans now. Huh. <sighs> what's wrong? What? See, they're wait, praying wait. for you. What's wrong with that? The ladies but are seriously, praying for is you. It, is it, <laughs> Please hit me up on social media. There's nothing wrong with beans and sweet potato. Okay. But did you not wait for the beans to finish cooking to know it was too much to now put the sweet potato inside? No, you wait. 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 You I said, just your beans. Ah, no, now beans, no worry, no worry. You don't need to take anything. No, I understand why Mike has been disappearing you need, a lot for the You don't need to take anything. Man. Harry, what are you implying? I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually scared that it is doing it at home. I don't know how to do that one at home now. You don't have Silas oh, at The bottom that. line of this is... <laughs> Silas the rat. No, no, no. The bottom I, I line do of this is that I don't Mike do needs someone to finish I don't do his rats. beans. I don't do that. Yeah. He needs someone to help him finish his beans. Beans, beans give away. Mr. Beans. Beans give away. <laughs> Beans giveaway. Courtesy of my <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, we're oh, heading over my. to the news updates now, and Kemi is on standby for us. Thank you, guys. 
Hello again. The community head of a village in Kaduna State and five other persons have been killed by bandits. Residents of Serari village in Berenin-Gwari local government area say the attackers struck on Thursday afternoon going from house to house. They shot people killing the six persons and injuring no fewer than seven others. The Benue caucus of the House of Representatives has once again raised an alarm over what it describes as the endless killings and attacks on Benue communities by armed herdsmen. While the lawmakers decried the withdrawal of security personnel of the exercise cat race from Benue State in spite of the fact that the menace hasn't been curbed and they are calling on the federal government to explain uh, why the cat race exercise was terminated without resolution. They added that a proper military operation would or should be stationed in the state. <clears throat> Apologies there. Well, in line with the Inspector General of uh, Police Directive instructing the police commissioners nationwide to mop up prohibited firearms, an Amber State Police Command has recovered 100 firearms, uh, parading the items at the command headquarters uh, in Anambra. Commissioner of Police Baba Omar uh, spoke about the category of ammunition that falls within the prohibited firearms under the laws of the country. He urged the public to report to the command anyone found in possession of such ammunition. Finally, at this time, the senator represented Kogi West Senatorial District, Dinu Melaye, has filed an appeal at the Supreme Court seeking an order to restrain his recall perpetually. In a notice of appeal filed by his lawyer, Michael Zekome, he further sought an, uh, another order uh, declaring the petition presented to INEC by some constituents uh, for his recall as illegal and unlawful. Senator Milaye's appeal comes after the Court of Appeal gave INEC the go-ahead last month to continue with the recall. According to him, INEC can no longer proceed on the basis of the purported petition because of the time frame. That's the news we're tracking this hour. We'll, of course, get updates as the day unfolds. And in the meantime, another look at today's weather. All right, it's time again for the sports update. Mike is right here with us. All right, so it's uh, Thursday night football we'll be talking about. An um, amazing display by Arsenal to take away CSK Moscow in the UEFA Europa League. Two goals from Aaron Ramsey and Alexandra Lacazette were enough for Arsenal to beat CSK Moscow 4-1 at the Emirates Stadium. In other matches, Atletico Madrid also defeated Sporting Lisbon 2-0 at the Wenda Metropolitano in Spain. And in other results, Lazio beat Salzburg 4-2, while RB Leipzig sealed a 1-0 narrow win against Marseille. Let's take a look at some of those highlights. Ozil helping it on here to Jack Wilshire. He's outnumbered. Mesut Ozil. Hector Bayer in. They're queuing up. And it's that man, Ramsey, who has stuck this one away. The early pressure pays off for Arsenal inside the first ten minutes of the first leg. Open it's going to be uh, Golovin. Oh, perfectly placed. It's a stunning set piece to level the scores. And stuns Arsenal inside the opening quarter of an hour. Their lead wiped out. The away goal for Siska Moskva. And it's a free kick. I didn't appear to see it coming. We certainly haven't seen uh, Ahmed Musa here, who's almost in 
towards Ozil, a little fortunate. Gets the ball back from Ramsey, though Ozil almost in and then goes to ground in the Shanikov's challenge. Arsenal want the penalty and they're going to get it. Alexander Lacazette for Arsenal beats Akin Fayev to restore the Gunners' lead. Monreal to Mesut Ozil. And look at the space here that Ramsey has to make it three. The scoring goes on, it's his second of the game for Aaron Ramsey to open up a two-goal lead for the Gunners. Katorin in the middle, it will reach Lacazette. 4-1 Arsenal. Fabulous first half showing, and Lacazette joins Aaron Ramsey by grabbing his second goal of the game. It's an awful pass, straight to Diego Costa. Costa passes it, what an opportunity this is, and what a start! As Koke has given Atletico Madrid the lead. Not even 30 seconds played, and the home sides have their goal. But wonderful goals there, and that's all on sports of all this morning. Of course, remember that it's the Manchester Derby on Sunday. Uh, well, that's going to be interesting, Man City for the title. Okay, so it's the headlines and papers right up next. Uh, Yomi and Titi having that one. Thanks, man. Okay, so let's start with the punch, shall we? Uh, 24 killed in fresh herdsmen's attacks on Benway communities, uh, according to the reps caucus. Uh, lawmakers decry suspension of military operation in the state. Also, pictures of the Ondo pregnant women protest increase uh, on antenatal fees. Um, on the looters list, APC PDP in a show of shame, says Okoje. Two soldiers, 21 bandits killed in the Zamfara shootout, according to the army. And uh, it says here, federal government repaired $2.8 million ship with $18 million, wow. late empty Mbu's book says. And uh, on subsidy on petrol, it's now 1.4 trillion naira per year, says federal government. Senator Melaye uh, asked Supreme Court to stop recall. And then finally, Omishuri supporters burn PDP flags at party secretariat. Dramatic there. That's what we have on the cover of The Punch. This day has the headline, Jostling for APC Chairmanship Begins, Oyegun Oshomale Ibri Emerge Contenders. Uh, governors, uh, others uh, in battle of wits. Uh, Buhari, I have never showed religious bias, says the president. Uh, Kachiku puts under recovery on petrol imports at 1.4 trillion naira. And PDP seeks legislative action against president for okaying $1 billion withdrawal from the ECA. All on the cover of this day. All right, and uh, that's all we have time for on the newspaper headlines for this morning. And of course, the newspaper headlines are proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. It's about time for us to go on a commercial break. When we come back, join me in the garden. All right, welcome back. Woof, so far so good uh, on the Wake Up Nigeria Garden here. Everybody's had breakfast and it's about time for us to present our 10 families with their month's supply of Kellogg's. And uh, we have assisting us, of course, uh, Mr. Darlington and Kemi. Thank you so much. All right, so um, I have uh, some of their names here. Let's start calling them out. Um, we have Miss Amadi. Please, let's give Miss Amadi a round of applause. Please come and pick up your Kellogg's. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Come along. All right. Congratulations. So let them hand. Okay. All right. All right. We appreciate We say we love Kellogg's. Thank you. All right. Okay. We also have Miss Obiese. Or rather, Mrs. Obiese. Joy. Please come and pick up your Kellogg's. <laughs> Yay. All right, please keep the clapping going. Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> You're very welcome, madam. You're very welcome. 
double fellows. Thank All you. right. Thank you, Kalas. Okay. Mrs. Anesodo. All right, a round of applause for her as she comes up. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, look at the smile on her face. Look at the smile on her face. All right. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Mrs. Eniola Suleiman. Where are you? All right. Let's keep it going. <laughs> the children need to clap too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you so much, please. You're welcome. You know, I'm one of you guys now. Sure, you know. I'm one of you guys. I'm yeah, yeah, from yeah, Kellogg's yeah. now too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we also have to call on Mrs. Rose Ido. All right. Clap for your mommy now. You want to clap for your mommy? Ah. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kellos. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> we also have to call on uh, Makinde Damilola. Where are you? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I like her smile too. <laughs> Okay, Farutimi Olua Toin, where are you? Okay, all right, Ma, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Thank you, Kellogg. Yeah. Breakfast time is time. Kellogg's time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we're calling on Vivian Oji who actually had the highest number of likes wow. and views on her post, on her video. Ah, ah, look at this young man following mommy. Oh, he, he knows when it's Kellogg's time. Yeah, he yeah, knows. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. All right, so I know that um, you, you said you wanted to say something. I, I would love it if you could say something on behalf of all the winners. Today. Okay, yeah, on behalf of all the families here, we want to say a very big thank you to Kellogg's for this opportunity. Since you guys uh, introduced Kellogg, our kids, in fact, is something else. Like my son, mommy, I want to drink Cocoa Pops in the morning. Uh. Mommy, Cocoa Pops <laughs> afternoon. Mommy, Cocoa Pops in the morning. <laughs> and I actually entered this competition because of him. Aww. So I said, I'm going to advertise for you. Don't worry, mommy will do anything for you. Aww. And we're here. So I want to say a very thank you to Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. All right. Thank you. And so. Um, there's so many people on the list. I would like all of you to give yourselves a round of applause. There's one other person we haven't called yet, apparently. I'm so sorry. I missed out Mrs. Choma Udensi. Apologies for that. I'm so sorry. I skipped your name by mistake. But uh, you know when they say, hmm, you leave the best for last. Mm, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right then. <laughs> All right. You're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. Don't worry. We will never forget you. <laughs> All right then. So as you can see, everybody has smiles on their faces. Now don't be deceived. We're giving them one carton just for the cameras. They're going home with four cartons each. You are worried. Were you worried? Ah, four cartons. They're going home with four cartons. And that's the month's supply of Kellogg's. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, I have to pass it back to the studio now. But one more time. Breakfast time is... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mike, take it away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is so cute. So wonderful. Uh, thank you to all the families who participated. And, uh, of course, you saw them in the garden there receiving all their month's supply of Kellogg's and thank you Kellogg's as well for your support. All right, so I have here with me Ade Adebanjo, who is a, Ade Bajo, yeah. who is a lover of music and especially 
High Life Music and his folk songs. Now his debut album, Moods Extracted, yeah. which comprises five tracks and uh, Freedom Way uh, as a bonus track is scheduled to be launched on the 8th of April. But right now he's got a yeah. performance for us and then we'll be talking wow. about High Life okay, uh, later on right. after this. That's nice, All that's right. very good. Uh, well, I, I, I really don't know where to start from now, but... <laughs> okay, I can do something. Um, High Life. I'm liking that, that smooth, that <laughs> nice smooth flow on a Thank Friday, you. Friday morning. It is Thank so, so, much. so Thank nice. You. Now we're going to be taking a break now. Of course, when All we right. come back, we're going to be uh, talking high life okay, and fine. your inspiration and what's happening in that industry. Okay, that's All good. right, that's so let's fine. go on a break now and be Thank right back. Welcome back. Now, after that uh, 
high life performance by Postkey. He's here uh, joining us uh, to talk about um, what he's been up to. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm very good. You're awesome. Good Thank to see you. So um, see. I'm, when I uh, think about growing up, uh, the first thing I remember about High Life is this song, Oni do do oni moi moi, oh, wow, from wow. way back. And nice. you know, that, <laughs> that I got a little bit of that feeling yeah. uh, when I was uh, listening to your, to your music oh, uh, wow. earlier on today before your performance. Oh, yeah. And uh, so tell us about your roots in High Life. Okay, yeah, High Life music uh, has always been like a, a type of music growing up. Yeah. You know, um, we had this family of... Um, very local, let me say local per se, yeah. but I mean, they love classic, mm -hmm. old Nigerian music, yeah. Yoruba music especially. Mm -hmm. So we grew up with likes of um, Ike Dairo, mm. uh, likes of um, uh, Victor Laya. Victor Laya, yes. Victor Laya even came a bit later. Yeah. Uh, Ambrose Campbell. Oh, wow, yeah. And that's, um, that's uh, yes, the some 60, old early highlight 60s. tunes, yeah. yes. So, I mean, you know, when we were growing up, my father used to call us, you know, all these uh, tapes that you have that you press record on the top, that red yeah. button. And oh, right. He would call all of us, we'll sit down and he'll be like, okay, you guys come and sing something and we'll record it. Then after, he will play it back to us and say, okay, can you hear yourselves? Okay, you, why did you make that mistake? We have to do it again. This, uh, and you your know? dad did that with you? My dad did that oh, for wow. us. So, wow. like, we all grew up with it. We all felt like, okay, music is some part of us that we have to develop, mm. you know. So going further, we were exposed to playing instruments like the keyboard, the guitars, the saxophones and everything, mm. including all my siblings. So with time, I mean, you don't have any other choice but to, to practice what you have learned. It's, it's amazing. I mean, you know, <laughs> when, when you look at the development of music, especially how it happened in Nigeria and how people evolve uh, over the years and the people that kept carrying out on the, that high life culture, you know, yes. it, it that looked like at some point, I think uh, in the 90s, that uh, people that sang high life were endangered species, <laughs> that there weren't so many. <laughs> what did you think of that? Yes, uh, there was a time that we had drought of high life. Uh, it was basically going off and we could get these hip hop songs coming yes, in. Yes, yes. Know? But some people still had that feel of the old high life system, but there was no, there was really no forum. And no depth. And you, so, yes. some of the high life songs or some of the purported high life songs that were not coming up didn't yeah. have any depth. Yes, exactly. You know, because they didn't have what it uh, what it took yes. to do it, like those other people that did it in those days. Now, when you look at um, some other artists that are coming up now, you can see that their style is not too far away from highlight yes, style. Yes, so they're not going back to the roots. Yes, area. I, I'll, I'll make mention of uh, Kiss Daniel especially. Oh yeah, okay. Kiss Daniel is actually performing high life. Mm. He's not. Uh, How about Adekunle Gold? Gold? Adekunle Gold, yes, he has. He has the. You can hear the beat. The yes. highlight beats are there. Mm -hmm. But Kiss Daniel is more into it for me than, than the other ones. Okay, well, what, do you, what do you think of uh, Flavor's music, though? Oh, Flavor is a fantastic high life person. You see, in high life, you don't, even need to, you don't need to listen to the language. Yes. The beat talks for itself. Exactly, you know? exactly. It's either it's Ghanaian, either it's Nigerian, either it's uh, Senegalese. High life is high life. Yes. So and when the you Congo hear Flavor's... Well, the exactly. Congo high life is... Yeah, exactly. So when you hear Flavor, and, you, know, you know it's root core high life. Right. There's, there, there's no doubt about that, mm -hmm. you know. They now put the lyrics, whatever language it is, everybody has to enjoy it. Let's talk about, let's talk about, um, I, I like that you mentioned that you don't have to understand the language of high life exactly. um, to be able to communicate, communicate with it. Because across Africa, it looked like, you know, the flavor and the beat was the same. So even if you were hearing high life in French, yes. it was almost still the same thing, which is also why people like Oliver de Coke was exactly. uh, ex extremely exactly. popular exactly. in the French exactly. speaking, French speaking countries. Exactly. You know, it's, um, Music, music is a language on, on itself. Yeah. So you don't really need to, <laughs> you don't need to speak a language everybody hears. Exactly. The bass guitar, the lead guitar, the saxophone, the drums, the talking drums. Yes. They talk for themselves. Exactly. And you, it's a, it's even the fusion of all these it, all these sounds together in one that that, that, that creates that, that is uh, elevated kind of music that you hear. So you yeah. even you see yourself singing the language you don't know. Mm. In as much as you are in that beat already, exactly. when the beat is sounding and you are dancing, you start singing all sorts of things, even though you don't know what you're saying. But <laughs> you have exactly. To sing it. So let's talk about um, the, the cross cultures. You know, sometimes you hear high life in Yoruba, then you hear it in Igbo yes. as well. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you mentioned a couple of uh, songs from Oliver the Cook that you would hear, and you just already be moving to it. Exactly. You know how. How does the culture itself also define the kind of high life you sing? Because there's also different kinds of high life. Uh, well, um, culturally, there are different backgrounds to high life. 
But I think uh, the major unifying factor in high life is uh, the bass guitar, okay, the uh, lead guitar. Mm. Then you have some typical drum sounds that are unique to high life. Mm. Now the ebos have that a bit slower. Yes. And a bit rocky. It does give yes, you that rocky, it's the, smooth, uh, like pure water, left, yeah. ice water. You know, yeah. it's a bit slower, but you still feel those instruments mm -hmm. there. The Yorubas may have our own a bit more pacey. The Ghanaians too, they have a pacey type of high life. But by the time you check the the projection of the sounds, mm. the mix of the instruments, yes, they're saying the same thing. Exactly. So, I mean, I wanted to talk about um, the folk folk songs as well that you fuse oh, into. Okay. But okay. Let, let's let's uh, let's talk about the album that's coming up on Sunday. Okay. It's something to look forward to. Like I said, um, High Life is uh, you guys are an endangered species. So when, when somebody is <laughs> coming up with an album, I think everybody should, should support. Uh, yeah. So uh, this is something that we should look forward to on Sunday. So what are we looking at looking at for this Sunday? Um, yeah, Sunday. I'm actually planning. Um, to bring our minds back to high life. Mm. Um, I want us to have a feel of the classic high life. Not really some of these, because some people mix it up with all these uh, sounds at the parties. Mm -hmm. When you go to parties, all those ones can be alujo and all uh, those yeah, things. Those, those ones are just open air, uh, high yeah. life type things. Yeah. That you start mentioning your names and things like <laughs> yeah. that. Those ones are alujo type of party songs. Yes. But the high life thing, you have some classic sounds that come in that reminds you of what the likes of Ambrose Campbell used to sing in exactly. the 40s and 50s. And the fusion of John Coltrane exactly. and the rest of it, them. Amazing it takes you stuff. back to the likes of Ike Dairo. Yeah. It takes you back to the likes of uh, uh, Victor Olaya. Just gives you that the, nos I mean, nostalgic feeling. Yes. Can, we, can we get some, uh, just a feel of that song um, that they were playing? Maybe we just okay, get the a feel ba -ba -ba. of that. Yeah, we can get a feel of that as we go to the kitchen. Okay. I hope you can join us. That's, I know that, that you are... <laughs> <laughs> you are old in the spirit, but you will help us uh, share yo, yo, this, this, no food, this food no that we have uh, we'll that. in the kitchen. <laughs> Just join us now. Thank you very much. Hey, people. Hello, you're Hello man. <laughs> welcome. You're welcome to the kitchen. Thank you very much, man. All right, so this is uh, Poski. He's got an album coming up uh, on Sunday, <laughs> and it's High Life. And you know this High Life, guys? Yes. <laughs> we, should, we should protect them like we do the, the elephants and the rhinos. Wow. They, We're not really that endangered, please. <laughs> yeah, you're rare. You're yes, rare. rare. Especially rare. the classic high life guys. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so today we made a creme brulee. Mm. Yeah, it's a French dessert. Uh, I have Chef Wumi here of Wumi Cakes. You'll be telling us more about it. Okay, so it's a bit of custard, like you are a classical. Okay. Artist, so this is a classical dessert. Oh, wow, <laughs> very nice. I like that. I like yes, that. Like that. Very nice. So we have a we have the custard, um, three layers. That's the vanilla, the strawberry, the chocolate. Then we have the toppings. Then we have this French cake. This cake can actually complement varieties of desserts, and you can actually use it to make different um, desserts as well. Mm. It's used for ice cream cake. It is used for so many things. So, so what did you put in between the cake? That is um, raspberry jam. Hmm. Oh. And then on top is what? We have whipped cream. Oh, and whipped cream <laughs> and then we have <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. it looks delicious, I have wow. to say. It looks absolutely delicious. So what, what does it start from? Where? Where starts, I, I, can see, I can see strawberry here. Okay. Mm. I hope I can pick that up. Yes, yeah. you can. Let me see that. With a little bit of cream. Oh, yeah. that looks so Strawberry and cream. I hope I'm getting As, it. Honestly, yes, my yes, mouth yes, is yes, watering yes. just standing right here. It's like I'm taking some serious well, patience. Wow. Since we're all lovers of yeah, high life together. Yeah. I thought I should just help myself. I almost forgot the name. Mike, have you noticed that? My name is Cream Brulee. That's a Janice cake. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, we have to round off so you can the show now. Yeah. And um, you know, the weekend is about to start. A big shout out to our friends at Homely NG for the kitchen accessories. And of course, for last place for styling our hair. Yes, we love you, all of you at home, all of the parents and families that came for the Kellogg's uh, Easter Challenge. Yeah, and thank you, uh, Kellogg's. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Kellogg's, for, thank you. for all you did for yes. those families. Thank you. And a big thank you to Posky, whose album is coming up on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Make thank sure you, you check it out. Something and thank you to Mike for not staking this <laughs> last <laughs> We'll I'm see saying. you guys on Monday, 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, weekend. don't take it. Don't take you it. You guys. Okay, I'm, I'm taking it.